rent increases are hitting mobile home parks all across the country. And that is a fact that is placing many who once sought out mobile homes as an affordable housing option in financial jeopardy. And that is what's happening right now to mobile home owner Catherine Smith as landlords began demanding double the rent that she's used to paying. I sat down with her as she shared a story that you will see only here on ABC 27. We can't start over. Starting over is something Catherine Smith and neighbors at Lake Bradford Mobile Home Park are having to think about as they experience the latest in nationwide mobile home lot rent hikes. Smith has lived in the park since 1994. How does it make you feel to know that someone can come in and have uh, such an impact on the life that you've lived for 30 years? Honestly, I was very upset. New owners took over the park in April of last year, and Smith says began sending notices about the increasing rent. Every time you get a notice, it's eviction, you know, threatening eviction as the end result. I go ahead along with it because I feel like I couldn't do anything about it. But what she did do is turn to Legal Services of North Florida. We're seeing folks' rent go from um, $330 to $750, um, which is something that we're trying to stop. Staff attorney Mary Rose Whitehouse crunched the numbers as she took the case. She and Smith both point out that little has been done to justify such a spike in monthly expense. This park is in, is in not the greatest shape. Um, the roads in some places are only partially paved. When we moved out here, we had a gym, we had a sauna, we had a pool, we had a playground, we had a laundromat, um, we had a basketball court, we had family-oriented things. Now we have nothing. And it's not as simple as just moving the mobile home. A lot of mobile homes are so old. If they were manufactured before 1976, they're for the most part immovable. Or it could cost upwards of $10,000 to relocate. To bring the financial burdens on people. I mean, if we could afford 700, we probably would have had nicer places than what we have. We would have gone into communities that were had something to offer. Smith helped gather neighbors' signatures needed to start a lengthy legal battle that could land Lake Bradford Mobile Home Park in a lawsuit. But White House says what will happen to the homeowners in the meantime is uncertain. We are hopeful that we won't see um, a large um, onslaught of evictions. Unfortunately, the Mobile Home Act is a bit silent on whether or not um, the park can enforce a proposed increase when when uh, the increase is in dispute. Smith says it's a battle well worth fighting. They should have to answer to somebody. They should treat these people with more respect, more dignity, more concern, more compassion. Now, we did reach out to Lake Brantford Mobile Homes, but they have yet to return our call. Should they provide any future statements, we will post them to our website, WTXL.TV.